Uh, hey YouTube, um, I made a video uh, earlier about um, a few days ago about the useful parts I got out of the microwave, and um, here's three parts that proved to be very useful because I've been actually trying to build some sort of ignition coil slash, like, not slash, but I've been trying to build an ignition coil and an ignition coil driver. Well, since I don't have an ignition coil, I haven't really bothered trying to make a driver, but I've seen this guy on YouTube driving an ignition coil using a relay and a capacitor. Now, I have a, a small uh, capacitor hooked up to this, and I did try it with a microwave capacitor, too, that's in there. It didn't really seem to improve much. It still works without it, and I don't really notice any improvement. I mean, I don't have a voltmeter that can measure kilovolts, but um, it'll make sparks without the capacitor on there. But um, I just got it on there. It does seem a little brighter, but I don't really notice any difference in the, the distance of the spark gap. But uh, pretty much here's how I wired it. It all runs off of 12 volts DC. And uh, ironically, that's also what the guy on the YouTube video was running his ignition coil on with the relay was 12 volts DC. And the way they had, they had the capacitor for the ignition coil driver, the capacitor would go between here between this alligator clip and that wire, but um, I don't need it. And the way I have this hooked up is the ground, since I did not break that like a lot of people do, I kept the ground on there, and but I just used some wire, and I connected the ground, like the, I connected the commons of both coils together. I'm not sure if it'll work without it connected like that, but I really don't want to try. I mean, well, I guess I'll try for the fuck of it, but... Um, this is how an ignition coil is hooked up, is they both share, both coils share the common, but, um, here's how I wired the relay up. Uh, I drew the coil there because it's actually what the relay has on the back of it. It has a little picture of the coil, so you know which leads are to the, the relay coil. And this relay is, uh, rated at, a uh, 12 volts DC, and the contacts can support up to 250 volts at 16 amps. I also have a smaller one. It also runs on 12 volts DC and um, can support 250 volts at 3 amps. But I didn't really use that one. I like this one better because it's got this little clip on leads. Um, but anyways, this is how I wired it. These are the inputs from the power supply, which is that little transformer up here. It'll also work with this uh, 9 volt wall wart. But, um, yeah. I just used that that came out of a VH1 cassette tape rewinder. But here's how I wired it. Oh, uh, shit, I just threw my pencil. Okay. Um, have my trigger switch right here, which I also got from the microwave. Oh, wow, the lighting just went out really bad. There we go. Fucking camera. Um, but, yeah, this is the switch I got out of the microwave. This came out of the microwave, and, of course, this came out of the microwave. So, very fucking useful shit. Oh, yeah. Sorry to get off topic, but I uh, also made this neat little project fan out of the fan that was inside the microwave. I got some mesh on here in case I decide to put some sort of filter screen to keep it from sucking up dust into it. But uh, I made that uh, for when I'm soldering, when there's not much draft going through the garage. So a lot of useful stuff in a microwave, along with the circuit board. So you should watch my video on useful things from a microwave so you can see all the little goodies you can get out of a microwave oven besides the transformer and the capacitor and shit um, but yeah anyway back to how I wired the relay these are the contact inputs so this right here is the switch itself and these are the inputs for the coil um, now the positive goes to one end of the coil as you can see a little red wire but the positive goes into one end of the coil and then is fed over to the um, <clears throat> microwave transformer. And then the negative passes through the trigger switch and is wired to one of the leads on the, the contacts for the switch and one of the leads to the coil. So it completes the circuit for the coil positive and negative. And the negative comes out the other lead of the contacts, and it goes into the commons of the microwave transformer. 
and also leads to the commons of the secondary coil on the microwave transformer. And on the <clears throat> positive side, the hot wire is the high voltage out. And um, I'll show you a little demonstration of it. Uh, I also found the, I, I had no idea what I was going to use for the magnetron for, but here's the use I've been using it for. Just hold my relay down. Um, yeah. I've already been zapped twice by this. Ah, oh, fuck. Ow. Oh, that does not feel good. Ow. Okay. Um, here we go. Now let me show you without the capacitor hooked up. Yes, this is what I was talking about. It's pretty much the same. Don't really notice any difference in the spark gap. But yeah, actually works quite nicely. And the re relay will actually click really fast if the transformer if it has a lighter load. Like if I take this off and skip past the transformer, this thing will actually click really really fast basically just turns it into a buzzer, but uh, you could probably put a little bit more voltage into it. I don't really want to try because I really don't want to mess up my relay because I don't want to have to go buy relays, and I'm actually lucky that the microwave had relays in it. I wasn't expecting it to have any relays inside of it, but um, and I'm glad it did because it actually proved very, very useful to this project. <laughs> but, uh, yep. Yeah. I would like to, um, I would still like to get an ignition coil, try an ignition coil out with this because it would produce a better spark because it's actually built for that. Microwave transformer is not built to be an ignition coil. It's built to power that thing. And that thing's not supposed to spark. It just has like a little filament inside of here that heats up to, uh, I don't remember how many degrees, but it's fucking hot as hell. And it's got magnets in it. And it, like, does something with the, uh, I watched the thing on it, but it does something to the electrons and protons and shit, the magnets, you know. It does something to them and emits them out to, like, here, I don't know. Just, just look up how a magnetron works. It's actually quite interesting. And it's actually very, very simple. But pretty much, um, the only part in here is the filament inside here, and these are just cooling fins and then the copper, there's like a copper core inside that little cylinder. And, um, but yeah, just look up that. It's actually quite interesting how a magnetron works. So yep, that's my ignition coil. Um, made from complete random shit from a microwave.